from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon on Afternoons LA Late as the Dow tumbles 300 points on Friday, ending the worst week since the month of September. I want to look at what's going to go on this new week when we have the CPI and also the Federal Reserve announcement. PBI, PBIU. <laughs> In today's recording, we'll go over that producer price index for inflation that was released on Friday and why it was so hot and why inflation is not going down. That leads us into the third breaking news story today. Taming Jamie, new bank head, says that inflation may be around for two more years. That's what I've been recording. And that it'll take a lot more j Powell to tame inflation. And that's why you have to get all these incredible stimulus checks. In today's recording, we're going to go over this massive stimulus, your recession, your inflation, your benefit raise, and of course, your housing market, and yes, your incredible stimulus. We're going to go over that and more in this broadcast today and how much in stimulus reviewers are getting. They're getting a lot of money, $300,000 in stimulus checks, fast stimulus, 18 months, $3,000 a month, and five checks per month. This has been lost since the month of March, and these stimulus checks are incredible. You qualify. It's $300,000 in stimulus checks, and they are beautiful. 18 months of stimulus checks are being paid out on average. And I'm going to show you over this recording how viewers are getting five checks per month on average. It's incredible, and it's for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, and VA. They're everywhere. They're not from your state, number one. It's important that you move really quickly because that financial cliff is 30 days away. They're not for one particular group. And it's also important that you understand you need to apply. We're going to go over those incredible checks in today's recording. But first, we're also going to go into the other breaking news we're working on. The CPI is being released on Monday. And will it be a Santa baby of a CPI or a monster of a CPI? Then, consumer confidence rose, covered up tonight. Beyonce is being represented. Then, downward dog, Lulamon missed dramatically. Plus, in the big second half, it's holidays, LA. And we will be going on to the beauty of the poinsettia plant and how there's more colors than just red. That is the watermelon, the prior one is the white or the green or the yellow, however you call it, and those are the beautiful red ones. From the shores of San Marco, California, we have a great show today. I'm excited you're here. It's all heating up right now. Massive stimulus and massive poinsettia plants. It's breaking news and it's all here right now on Holidays at Lights. And good afternoon, everyone. Big stimulus checks are coming to millions of Americans, and they've been landing since the month of March. Three hundred thousand dollars of stimulus checks. I'm going to go over these incredible stimulus checks with you in this recording. They're paying out eighteen months of stimulus checks, three thousand dollars of stimulus checks per month, five stimulus checks per month, and I'll show you how to get them. They're for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Babbitts. They are everywhere, and they heat up today's recording. They're not from your state. They're from the federal government. You need to move fast, and they are big and bold and beautiful. And they're not for any one particular group. You need to apply. Let's look at those incredible checks again. $300,000 paid out in two months. It should be, yes, uh, two days, not two months, two days. 18 months of stimulus checks, $3,000 of stimulus checks, and five stimulus checks per, mu per month. That's the average. But first, let's go into the breaking news we're working on right now. Eggnogalus. It's a big week. And last week was a big week, but there's a lot going into next week as well. Eggnogalus. <laughs> what happened? Well, the markets ended on Friday with the worst performance of the Dow Jones since the month of September. Remember, we have been trading up 10, 15 percent up. It didn't last much longer. The Dow was down 300 points on Friday. Again, the worst week since the month of September. All the major industries were down. The second story that is really the cause of the first story was the producer price index. The PPI was released, and it gauges how much the wholesaler pays for products. That's like the supermarket. 
And that inflation was straight up. It went up month to month. It went up year to day. PPI, PPU, why is this important for you? Because the PPI is indicative of what happens with the CPI, which is your inflationary number, and that comes in on Monday. And this number was not good. Let's look at these PPI numbers from Friday, and it'll give us a big indication of what we're going to see on this channel tomorrow when that CPI is released. Wow. The producer price index, which gauges products that the wholesaler buys, it went up 0.3 month to day compared to the prior month and 7.4% up compared to the prior year. Now, Economist was only looking for a 0.2% raise on a monthly basis, so this was a beat. And then when you look at the course PPI, which removes food and energy, and it went up 0.4% when Wall Street is only expected a 0.2 raise. That's a major beat, folks. That's a lot hotter inflation than expected. Core PPI was up 6.2% year-to-date compared to the prior month of 6.6. So the takeaway is, number one, it was hotter than expected. Number two, it's also still going up month-to-month -month and year-to-date. So Jay Powell's not gotten this done, which tees up the second story, Taming Jay Me. Taming inflation is j Powell's real big problem, and he's really not gotten it done. And one of the major bank heads said, what I've been saying for a while, is you're going to have two more years of inflation. Taming and Jamie, the comments come from Brian Moynihan, head of Bank America, hits CEO. Our expectations that inflation is getting under control is really look like the end of next year, 2024. And that's exactly what you and I have been talking about. Inflation is not going to be under control until 2024. Big news for your benefits, because that means two more years of raising your benefits. Big problems with the economy, because inflation is going to be around. Remember how this started. In spring of 2021, the Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve Governor said that inflation was going to be 2 to 3% temporary and transitory, and use that tacky hand gesture like this. And I did it too. <laughs> Guess what happened? I said that tacky hand gesture is wrong because it's not going to come at 2 to 3%. It's going to be 8% and not temporary. It's not going to go away quickly. Well, it came in at 8% in December a year ago this month. And then I said it's not going to go away. I said it again. And here we are. A year later, it's barely even gone down to 7.5%. Hasn't really tamed at all. And that's really the big problem. It's going to take a little bit longer to tame this inflation, says Monahan, head of Bank America, in those brand new comments obtained by LA News. But it's not going to be an overnight fix. It's going to take a little bit of time until it's and it required to slow down the economy. To do this, Jay Powell is going to have to raise unemployment, says Jay Powell. He has to make labor worse, more people unemployed to get inflation down. And what did we see on those labor numbers this week? We did see a little bit of progress, but not a lot. Let's look at those labor numbers. Every Thursday, we have the new jobless claims numbers released, but it's a combination of two numbers. First, it's the new jobless claims number, which you're looking right on the screen here. It rose all the way to 260 over this, over this year, then fell back down to 140 recently. It's now at about 230, 240. So that's fine. That's not really the concern. It's the long-term unemployment number, which is also released every Thursday morning live on air on this channel on Mornings LA. That number rose about by 65,000 just one week alone. So it's hovering at about 1.7 million Americans long-term unemployed. Wow. And that is not a particularly good number. That's a, that's a high number. And yet j Powell still has to raise that number a lot to get inflation down. Could we see 2 million unemployed people long-term? Yes, absolutely. Because he needs to get inflation down to 2%, and he's only at 7.5%. Let's now understand why that's so important. Because if more people are unemployed, they're going to need stimulus. And let's go over to all those incredible stimulus checks right now. There is big stimulus checks that were passed in the month of March. and They are in every U.S. state. Now, let me explain the history of these stimulus checks so you understand why you want these stimulus checks and why you qualify for these stimulus checks. Back in February of 2022, this year, I was the first American broadcast to record the U.S. economy would be going to recession. No one would dare use the word recession except myself, Alite. And guess what happened? My viewers of this channel listened and learned really well. And I taught you always to err on cautions. caution. Be cautious with your money. Do not be risking your money. And they said, the viewership of this channel, you said, in March, 30 days after I warned about a recession coming, 
in 2023, you said, go get me some darn stimulus checks. Go get me some darn stimulus checks. Because if you're a ride allied, I'm hearing you really loud and clear now in March of 2022. Go me, give me some darn stimulus checks because January 2023 is just around the corner. And you and I got really lucky. We got really lucky because that day Joseph Biden passed three executive actions and those became the first three checks of federal stimulus checks. When they were passed, no one really recorded this. No one reported it. It wasn't featured anywhere. I found them. It was a needle in a haystack. I had a triple mandate for myself at the time and us, and we got everything of those three items. Number one, I wanted big, bold, beautiful stimulus checks, tens of thousands of dollars of stimulus checks. Why? Because this was going to be a two-year recession. I predicted in February of this year. Now, Moynihan is basically repeating back to what I just said to you. He's saying it's going to be two more years of this trouble. Two years is not a six-month COVID lockdown of 2020. Two years of financial implosion is not good, and you need tens of thousands of dollars. $600 checks, not going to cut it. $1,200 checks, not going to cut it. $2,000 stimulus checks, not going to cut it. $200 every month, not going to cut it. Not going to cut it. You need tens of thousands of dollars to survive a downward economy for two years, and we got it. In these incredible checks, we have upwards of $300,000 a person. I'll show you these incredible checks, and viewers are averaging about $50,000, $60,000, $80,000 in these incredible checks federal stimulus checks. Number two, broad eligibility. I want to make sure that you qualify for these checks, and you do. There's only two things you need to know and only two things you need to ask. Do I make $75,000 or less? If the answer for you is yes, you qualify. If you're a married couple, this, the other question is, do we as a married couple make $150,000 or less? If the answer is yes, you qualify. That's it. Only two factors of qualification, 50 or one it should be 75 or 150. That is it. Doesn't matter if you rent or own. Doesn't matter if, matter if you're young or old. Blue state, red state, children without children, head on bills, behind on bills. Doesn't matter. You just have to have those two qualifiers at issue. Third, I wanted it easy for you to get. What's the easiest way to help people get stimulus? An incredible newsletter. I invented it. It's on this channel. It's been working ever since the month of March. In that incredible newsletter, I put all the incredible checks for you to go in and apply. And now we have a lot of them. And I'm going to go over each of these wonderful checks one at a time. You go down in that newsletter, click apply, click apply. This is how the first stimulus package worked. The 2020 CARES Act, where people were getting $150,000, $300,000 of stimulus in March of 2020. This is how it's working right now. And this is the way it's going to be working in March of 2023 as well. So with that, we'll be going over all these incredible checks one at a time in this recording. But let's go back into the breaking news. Let's go back into the breaking news that we're dealing with right today, which is Santa Baby CPI. Is that consumer price index, the CPI being released on Monday, going to be a Santa Baby or a Santa Monster? It's likely to be a Santa Monster. Now, you and I know what the CPI is going to look like on Monday for inflation. What we don't know is how the markets are going to react to the news. You know, predicting the CPI out, we've been doing this on this channel since, what, um, July? Remember we were predicting the CPI and you all got it right. You were so good. So you and I watching today's video all know that Monday's Consumer Price Index CPI for inflation is going to be higher. We had the PPI on Friday. It's a sister and brother. It was higher. So the Monday will number, the CPI is going to be higher. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Not so easy is what the reaction to the news will be. Even going into Monday, <laughs> even going into this afternoon, some analysts are still saying, you know what, um, we're hoping, no. Uh, you know, we're thinking maybe, no. <laughs> CBI is going to be higher. The inflation is going to be higher month to month, and year to day it's going to be up. Now, maybe not as much as it's been up in prior months, but it's still going to be an up number. It's going to be a positive number, like a 0.2 higher than the prior month or 6.7% higher than the prior year. It's, obviously, this is what's going to happen. It's moreover, what we don't know is the reaction to the news by people who are trying to bet on the non-event. Cuff it tonight. Now, this one's a fascinating one, and no, it's not Beyonce. <laughs> Cuff it tonight. The University of Michigan's uh, Consumer Confidence Report was released yesterday, and it showed people a little bit more confident. Uh, confident about what? 
<laughs> confident about what? The economy or their TikTok moves to, to Beyonce? I don't know what they're confident about. Uh, I saw this report and I thought it was a misprint, but apparently people are a little bit more confident. Um, I will show you later this morning that there's nothing to particularly be more confident about in this economy. I think they're confident about their TikTok dance moves. And <laughs> the last major story we're working on, and this one is really the most important story I would tell you going into next month. Next month, it will be the most important story. Downward Dog. Downward Dog is referring to the corporate earnings that came in from Lou Lamon, the beautiful, very well-beloved yoga retail apparel company. It missed on top and bottom. And the stock was down dramatically on Friday. Here is the most important thing that you and I are watching for January. It is fourth quarter corporate earnings being released. Those fourth quarter corporate earnings is going to be the biggest indication of how bad this economy is. And those start coming in in January. They've already given us guidance. Lulamon on Friday said that, you know what? Uh, our, our guidance for the end of the year is not looking good. And this is exactly what we're dealing with on a regular basis. Companies either revoking their guidance for the year end because they think the fourth quarter is so bad and the current guidance is not accurate or they're actually revising and putting it a little bit lower. They, uh, the, 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 the sentiment of Lulamon on Friday was the stock was down 7% because the retailer, excuse me, beat on top and bottom, but it expects um, the fourth quarter not to be particularly good, um, even though it raised forecasts for the full year end. Wow. That's why you have to get all these incredible stimulus checks. And let's start with understanding where these stimulus checks came from. And they started all with this guy, Joseph Biden. These incredible checks are absolutely huge. And they started in the month of March. For you as this channel have gotten them since the month of March. And I'm going to show you how to get them today if you haven't got to them. They are big, bold, and beautiful. And what are they? They started by executive action of Joseph Biden. And let's look at these incredible checks right now. In the month of March, Joe Biden came along and passed a series of executive actions, which established the first three checks. Let's look at them right now. Checks A, B, and C. And he did it in March, and immediately viewers of this channel started getting them. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Annual income, go get it. It's $100,000 for people in these first three checks. These are federal stimulus checks, FSCs. And in this recording, I'm going to go over these incredible checks with you one at a time. Passed by executive action in March, viewers have gotten these checks ever since. But we're not done there yet, because after these stimulus checks, then came Congress. And Congress passed a bill that established more stimulus checks. And how many? Lots of them. Nearly a hundred of them. And those are the wonderful stimulus checks of E through K. E through K stimulus checks passed by Congress brought us to then hundreds of stimulus checks, but I wasn't on there yet. I researched and found you other stimulus checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. And where are all these incredible stimulus checks A to Q? In the membership newsletter. For members, go right down and become a member. Get that newsletter. Watch the time zone. Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. There is that news. There's the alert. Then go down the alert. Do you see the guy at the surfboard? There he is. Pass the guy with the surfboard. And then it says click and view post. Click and view post. And that sends you, whammo, right into the newsletter. And that is where you go and down and apply for those incredible checks one at a time. Become a member right today and get these huge checks because you deserve these incredible checks. A, B, and C are the first three checks. And without a delay, let's go into the first of those three checks. A, right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for so much check in every U.S. state. This is the check that Spelly got and so many other people like Kimberly. $6,000. $500 to $12,000. Do you want a $12,000 stimulus check? Well, become a member. Go into this video. Join the channel. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 9 o'clock, uh, uh, excuse me, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and then go down in that newsletter to you see check A and go click and apply. You're not done there yet. Go get check B. Check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000 of stimulus checks. And this is the, st the stimulus item that really gives people lots of stimulus checks. 
viewers on this channel are getting 18 months of stimulus checks ostensibly because of check D. Here's Frank Mancuso. 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. Folks, that is about six checks there alone because you have about four utilities per month. Well, there you go. That's six checks times 18 months. That's 18 times six stimulus checks. Folks, that's a lot of stimulus checks per month, uh, stimulus checks on this channel. And that's what I got. That's what he got from becoming a member to this channel in less than 30 days. We had a lot of viewers in this channel who have become members, and in less than just a few days, they walked away with 80 to 100 different checks from check B, and in some cases, they got nearly $100,000. Go under this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, and apply for that incredible check B right now. Bet you're not done there yet. Go get some check C. Check C is beautiful. It is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. In the newsletter, it tells you the 12 places to reach out to, what to say, how to say it, and where to say it. This channel has been around since March of 2020. And since then, I've gotten viewers $50 million of stimulus checks. And let's look at some of them right now for check C's. Do you want $30,000 of rent stimulus checks? We'll become a member and get that incredible check C. Do you want $15,000 of utility stimulus checks? Then join this channel and become a member and get your incredible stimulus checks. Here's Mark. His brother-in-law got $15,000 of stimulus checks. Lynn Glenn recently got 14 months of stimulus checks as well for utilities. Snap. Mark's brother-in-law went to a quarter million dollars a snap over 10 years from this channel. Combinations of checks. Here was $32,000 of stimulus checks obtained by Mark. I told Mark to go get some other items like snap and utilities, and guess what Mark did? Brought himself to $50,000 of stimulus checks from this channel. Then he went to $100,000 of stimulus checks, and then $166,000 of stimulus checks. Lorraine was at $105,000 of stimulus checks. She went to $155,000 of stimulus checks. Brand new success stories this week are Lynn Glenn, longtime viewer of this channel, had gotten herself initially just a few months of utility stimulus checks. But then she brought it up all the way to 14 months of utility checks, stimulus checks. Folks, that's a lot of checks. That's about 60, 80 checks right there alone. Then she had gotten one or two months of rent. I told her to go get more, and she brought it to 12 months of rent. Well, she wasn't done there yet because guess what happened? She helped a family member this weekend, and what did that family member get? 12 months of rent stimulus. That's how you do it. Get those incredible stimulus checks right today. How do you do it again? Go under the video, subscribe, subscribe to LA1, subscribe to LA2, and subscribe to LA3. There's a bell on all three channels. Make sure you have those bells set to all notification on so you do not miss a video when something happens or breaking news report or the newsletter. And number three, go under the video and join the channel. You can join LA1, LA2, or LA3. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Watch the time zone. Here we go again. 7 o'clock my time. East Coast, like New York and New Jersey, that's 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you're in the Midwest, like Missouri or Illinois, that's 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Go right down that and alert, click it, it sends you to the newsletter, and start applying for incredible checks. Those are just the first three checks, A, B, and C. And in a second, after the commercial break, we'll go back over to the continuation of these incredible checks, E through K. Now, What's important to remember is that these big checks are available right now, and you don't want to wait because the breaking news today is that we know that that CPI is being released, but we don't know how austere it will be, and we don't know the reaction to it. We know that corporate earnings are getting weaker, but we don't know how much downward dogging they're doing. And consumer confidence up in a down economy, that's not particularly making sense. It basically means that people are happy about something not to be happy about. I'll explain the latest details on that with you in the big second half. Plus, it's called the poinsettia or poinsettia. <laughs> and in the second half, you won't be upset up because I will show for you a lot of poinsettia. And that is coming up in the big, bold, beautiful second half. And in the back of me are the red ones. We actually have three red ones in the background for me right now. Let me see if I move a little bit over there. There's another one. Isn't that gorgeous? They're all real, of course. Um, and in the big second half, we're going to go over how to choose the poinsettia for your home, how to prepare it, how to transport it, how to keep it living all season long. Last year, and I think the prior year, I think both 
two year, first two years of the channel, uh, my plans last a long time. Last a long time. They just, they, they're very, very hard if you take good care of them. In the big second half, we'll continue with these incredible stimulus checks. We got a lot of excitement coming up on today's show. And we got a lot more breaking news to prepare for this new day. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Holidays Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues. continues in a big, bold, beautiful second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California. A big stimulus passed by Congress. And that brought us to hundreds of different checks. And in the big second half, we continue with the breaking news of these big stimulus checks. Plus, we'll be looking at the latest details on the Poinsettia plan. Boy, you have a great show today. I'm thanking you for joining me on this big, bold, beautiful day. Am I blending in with the plants? <laughs> It's just a lot of red, a lot of red. See, if I move this way, you're just like, oh, my God, if it wasn't for the surfboard, I'd just see red everywhere. Uh, in this big second half, we continue with these incredible stimulus checks. You ready? I am. I feel so excited. Check E is a $7,500 stimulus check. Love it. Go get in the newsletter. Down to check E. F, a $4,000 stimulus check. That is just incredible. Ready for some more? I am. Then we go to check G, which is 20% off. H. A $2,000 stimulus check. Love it. Check I, an $8,000 stimulus check. Check J, an $8,000 stimulus check. Check K, a $14,000 stimulus check. Just incredible. But I found you more checks. These were after the president and after the Congress. They started L. L is $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. Love it. M, $4,000 stimulus check grant. Wonderful. N, N is the talk of town. Do you want a brand new computer for Christmas, of course you do. You want a brand new tablet? Of course you do. You want free internet? Of course you do. It's all Stimulus N. It's incredible. It's down the newsletter at Stimulus N. Zero down payments, zero closing costs for a brand new mortgage and a first-time home purchase. That is Stimulus O. And then Stimulus P and Q are a beautiful refi at 3% and an $8,000 stimulus check. Love it. Let's go over a little bit more about these incredible stimulus checks. First, they became law in March. Viewers have been getting them since that day, that very first day I made the recording in March. They're still paying out. We don't know how long they're going to be paying out, so you need to apply right away. You can apply on the weekend. You can apply at night because they are websites. Number two, they're a lot of money. Upwards of $300,000, largest check $100,000, smallest check $8,000. They're fast paying. Fastest routing time for these checks, two days. Johnny supplied on a Monday. By Wednesday, he had $45,000. He continued throughout the week, and by Friday, he had 15 applications in for stimulus checks, half rejected and half approved. He got eight stimulus checks, $80,000. The next week, he helped his mom and dad get stimulus checks, $50,000 for her, $50,000 for him. Then he helped his friends and neighbors. 20 of them got 
$250,000 of stimulus checks. You can do it as well. These stimulus checks are for the home, the appliances, the home repairs, the car, the computer, the internet, the rent, the utilities, the mortgage, and more. They're absolutely incredible. They're called Federal Stimulus Checks on this channel, FSCs. And over this today's broadcast, you can jump into other shows and learn a little bit more about these federal stimulus checks. They're from the federal government, so it doesn't matter where you live. It's for Americans. These federal stimulus checks are big because the federal government has a lot of money. That's who pays for these incredible checks. Now let's turn to inflation release stimulus checks. They're nice. They're down the membership newsletter at check D, like donut. Go down to that newsletter at check D and then click the link and it shows you the states and the amount of those checks. Beautiful. And then we turn to lifetime stimulus because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Brian Moynihan of Bank America confirms my reporting on this channel for nearly a year that we're going to have two more years of inflation. So that means you're going to have two more raises on top of these two raises for a total of four raises. Let's go over the details first. Last year, for this year, you got a 5.9% raise. Your current check features a 5.9% raise. Then, because of Jay Powell, you got an 8.7% raise coming on Jan in January 2023. Guess what happens after that? Well, after that, then you're going to have another raise in 2024 and another raise in 2025. It's that beautiful. And once your benefits go up, they never go down. As we eke through a recession, guess what happens? You'll have the largest check of a generation and then the items you're buying will be the cheapest of a generation because once your benefits go up, the items you're buying are going down in price. Become part of the Incredible Purple Power family today, and it's all detailed in the LA newsletter, plus those worksheets has a whole section about the benefit raises down around the sixth page across the board. And with that, let's go into the other things we're looking at this week. The other things we're looking at this week are the real big question mark of the reaction of the markets on Monday to the consumer price index when it's released. The reaction of the markets on Tuesday to when Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve speak and announce these interest rate spikes, which are likely to be 50 basis point, but may include guidance on saying, you know what, maybe we go higher in the future because inflation has not tamed. We're also going to be looking for new indications of this economy. And let me go over what we've learned so far and we're waiting for confirmation when those quarterly earnings are released in, uh, for fourth quarter in January. So far, we have the following. Consumer spending is up a lot, 10% compared to the prior year. Credit card spending is what's gay doing it. They're putting the money on the credit card where the credit card spending is the highest of a generation. Compared to what is expected, it's actually not good spending. Why? The retailers did not deliver good retail earnings numbers in the month of November. Their retail sales receipts, how many people were buying things in November for Black Friday, was actually down compared to the month of October. So the retailers aren't getting the spending from the consumer. It's likely the travel and leisure. Moreover, the unemployment is getting worse. And the other elements at issue is... Consumer savings are running out. Head of J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, Jamie Dimon, said on Friday that consumer savings accounts will likely be wiped out, used up by early next year. But another person, an economist at KPMG, said, no, that's middle class savings accounts. For low-income households, the savings accounts are already used up. Wow. That's why you need to get all these incredible stimulus checks. And with that, it's time for some fun with the beauty of the holidays decor. And today we go floral, and I'm wearing red for the occasion. I'm also wearing red because it's Sunday. <clears throat> All right, here you go. Look at those beautiful poinsettias. They've been on the set for a few weeks. I added the, the, the one behind my head the most recently. It's actually three. One, two, three. Uh, the, the brand new orchid, which is, which is um, more... Light pink is sort of blocking one in the background. Maybe by evenings, I'll move it to the side so you can see that better, a little bit better. Here is what to know about the poinsettias. The most common color is red, number one. Number two, there's a lot of other colors out there, but the availability of the other colors this holiday season seems harder than ever before. You see the red 
and you might see one white, but have you seen the pink? You haven't seen it till today, and I got some last night. Let's go over the white. So the white usually uh, in a store, if if they have ninety, if they have poinsettias, ninety percent will be red, and then ten percent will be a white one. And they won't have a lot. I have featured the white ones on prior sh seasons of Holidays Out Light here. This is one that is offset right now. It's keep being kept in a cool climate zone indoors. But boy, look at that. It is, you can call it white, you can call it yellow. That is how beautiful it is. That is the freshness of the leaf. This plant you've seen looking at this picture is, I think, a week old or maybe two weeks old. Uh, or at least two weeks since I purchased it. So it look how beautiful that is. Now, you perhaps have seen red. You have perhaps seen the yellow. Last year, I caused a lot of confusion when I used the word dimetriculated, and it just uh, it got people very confused. Uh, that word, um, uh, another way you call it is two-tone. There is the poinsettia, which is very rare, that has um, that has been crossbred. And so instead of red, it's red to yellow in the same leaf. So you can see two colors happening in the same leaf. I, I'm not too much of a fan with that because I don't think it I don't think it was bred right. So I don't think the way they did the gene mutation. Yeah, we're covering mutations today. <laughs> I don't like the way they did the mutation. I don't like the way the color scheme works, but I love, love, love this one. Wow. I got that last night. I got two of them. There were only two. <laughs> I got them both. I have not seen any of them anywhere in this entire season. I don't think I saw it last season. I don't think I saw it the season before. A pink poinsettia. Let me describe the shade of pink. It is basically watermelon. It is basically a light watermelon. It is absolutely gorgeous. Let, look at that first, and then let's cut back to me so you compare it versus the red. Yeah, see how it's just a whole, it's a whole different look. That's the red, and then here is the pink. Wow. I mean, the pink almost looks fake because it's so beautiful. It is truly, truly a beautiful plant. I got to tell you, when you pick it up and you hold it, you say, you're just, you're speechless because the color is so gorgeous. When you walk it in and someone sees you carrying it, they're speechless. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I don't know anything about the, the hereditary uh, uh, nature in which they got this color in, in, over the last 20, 30, 40 years of growing poinsettia plants. But I got to tell you, it was a gorgeous color that they came up with. The, the, the white is cute. It's, it's very, you know, mid-century, you know, monochromatic. But the pink is, or watermelon, is just spectacular. All right, so let's go over some things about the poinsettia plant. First, the most important thing when purchasing a poinsettia plant is to make sure that you have a plant that has not been broken. So pick it up, look at it carefully. If it's wrapped, you're going to have to unwrap it. You have to make sure no leaves are broken. Because if the leaves are broken, they're not coming back. That's it. You you have lost half, half of a poinsettia. For the ones that are on set here, um, I had actually gotten another one, I think it was the last week with that guy in the background, and I, I made the mistake of handing it to the cashier register person. I should have said, no, you come around and you skew it um, with, the, with the gun. Uh, she grabbed it and she just banged it against the, 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 her monitor and she broke off two limbs. I'm like, I don't want to, thank you, gone. You, you can't break a poinsettia. So when you find it in the store, put it in the cart, put it at the top of the shopping mart cart or the bottom of the shopping mart cart, keep it away from anyone and everyone. Don't be walking around in the hallways of a store where people bang into you. Just keep it like a little protected baby. Then when you get to the checkout stand, don't take it out of the cart. I mean, literally say, hey, can you come around and just skew it? They know the price. They already know the price. They don't need to skew it. Okay, now, time for the car. When you put it in the car, put it in the back seat and have it sitting upright. Maybe wrap it with some towels or a blanket around the bottom or you know something firm so it does not move. Uh, 
Normally, I would say put it on side, but if you put it on side, it's going to break the leaves. So no, with this type, you cannot put it on side. You have to have it upright. Uh, if you have a little box, that's even better. Do not um, drive like you are in the Monte Carlo Grand Prix, because <laughs> when you go home, you cannot swerve the car much, because if that plant moves like this, yeah, it's, 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 it's a goner. Now, when you bring it into the space at home, bring it in and get in position. Walk very slowly and get it and get in position. When you go to water it, and I am not as good as I should be on this one, you need to water them relatively regularly. So you need to water them regularly. Now, here is what's important to know, is do not put in a space in which there is traffic. So do not put it at the edge of a table. Do not put it um, you know, on the stairs. Do not put it where people are walking. They're going to bump into it and they're going to break in. You'll be very, very upset. And that's basically the end of your season. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Someone just broke your plan. Yeah, it's just not a good look. Um, now, let's go over how to find the plant, how to price the plant, and how to purchase the plant. So, you may think that your Home Depot or your Lowe's is your best place for the plant. Not necessarily so. In prior seasons, I've seen Home Depot really only have red. And then sometimes, I think, let me see if I recall, last season, they had the extra large white one, two of them. And then the week after that, I think they had about four in there. So if you want a small one, they'd have a small one. They only had that one size and, and it's extra large and it was white and that was it. Uh, they are not particularly good on getting lots of colors, at least here in Los Angeles. Now, so then where do you go? <laughs> Supermarkets, uh, nurseries, anything that's just sort of random, keep your eyes and open because the white one, let me think, um, the white one, well, all the points that is, you see from on, on this show are from a supermarket here in Los Angeles. They're all from a supermarket. Um, I did get reds from a Home Depot, but they're not on set here. They're smaller. Um, but... Again, the fact that in a very, very crowded space of floral items to purchase, not just poinsettia plants, in a supermarket last night, in a corner, there was two of these beautiful babies. I mean, it's just, it's it's like, oh, you have two, just put it all, and, and now let's go to price point. So you may think that the rarity of the pink makes it more expensive. You may think that the rarity of the white makes it more expensive. The answer is no. They're the same price. They, we don't know how this sort of shipping in and, 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 and choosing the plants and the buyers, we don't know anything about it. All we know is what lands in our stores. They are not any more expensive than the red. So if you see it, grab it. Now, small versus large. Don't go for a super, super small poinsettia plant. I saw them last night. Um, they're like the size of your hand. They're pretty small. The price point on those were, I think, $6.00. Uh, you know, it's cute if you work in a little office and you don't have much space on your desk, but I don't like it because if you break one limb, <laughs> that's it. I mean, it doesn't, it, there's not a lot of room for, for damage on that on, that, on a plant that's a small. Um, price point. So it's interesting. When you go to this size, when you go from this size and then you go to the bigger size, there's a big jump in price. I'm not particularly clear why. Now, at Home Depot, they're doing smaller than these um, poinsettias. They were doing, I think, two for five, which is really cheap. I think that was the price point. I think it was two for five. These um, each were $8, which I think is a great price. Now, when you go to the bigger poinsettia plants, which are just ginormous, I mean, they are basically this entire back of the set, they're running about $22, $24 right at the moment. So... If you got the space for it, good. I mean, it would basically be the centerpiece of a, of a holiday meal, but they are big plants. I mean, they, do not be underestimated by how big they are. They just take up a lot of space. Finally, is there a way to pair it with other plants? Well, clearly you see me. And let's see if you can see it up there. Yeah, so you have seen me. This uh, That orchid up here is brand new today. That is a pink orchid over here. Let's see if I get my finger right there is a brand new pink orchid right here, joining the purple uh, baby on already a set. So they they pair nicely. Um, remember, 
keep them in a way in which they're away from uh, any irregular behavior, which is basically lobster dancing. <laughs> Finally, one last breaking news story, which you may have heard over the weekend. Kristen Sinema, the controversial senator, so far initially Democratic senator from Arizona, has rechanged her party affiliation. She is now independent. So Kristen Sinema, who was that Democratic senator from Arizona that caused so much problems, for legislation for the Democratic agenda in 2022, her and Joe Manchin has switched party affiliations to independent. What does that mean for you and stimulus? Not much at all. Why? Because the House is now controlled by the Republicans going into 2023. So you're not going to see a stimulus package, per se, passed like we've talked in prior years because the House is never going to pass it. That doesn't prevent the President of the United States from doing more executive actions for stimulus checks like stimulus checks A, stimulus checks B, stimulus check C's. Or that does not prevent the President of the United States from having his agencies doing stimulus check items like E through K. That's what's going to be featured on this channel. But the switching of party affiliations with Chris and is very fascinating for political questions. First, why? This means that when she goes to the primaries, she will not be running as a Democrat. In fact, she will not even face an opponent in a primary. She will not participate in the Democrat primary. That means that when you have the general election for the Senate seat of Sinema, you'll have three names at least on the ballot. The Republican primary winner, the Democratic primary winner, and Kristen Sinema. Moreover, what does that also mean? It means that throughout that entire primary season, the Democratic candidates for Kristen Sinema's Senate seat will all be talking about how she is no good. So they will run six months of talking about how bad she is for their seat in the Democratic primary. And then by the fall, it'll be Republicans against her, Democrats against her, and then just her. The reaction for the news came in from Bernie Sanders, who said that Kristen Sinema is doing it for political purposes, but I don't see how it helps her political agenda. Now, you may say, well, had she stayed as Democrat, the Democrats would likely not nominate her for the Democratic ticket, and she may lose the primary. Now she has a chance to retain her seat by not staying with the party affiliation. You're right, but here's the other part of the equation. She may now have a bigger chance of not, of not winning either, as an independent, because now she faces two opponents who may split the ticket and ultimately go on an anti cinema platform. Wow, fascinating. We'll feature more about that tonight, potentially, on our evening's brand new show, LA Late Night, which is at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But coming up next is 5 o'clock's brand new evening's LA. For the shores of Santa Monica, California, enjoy your holidays. Happy holidays. Get those poinsettia plants, whether it is red or the beautiful pink watermelon. Stay informed, stay focused, happy holidays, and stay with LA for more.